I always say that poetry doesn't care about who you are, it just wants to hear a good story. And that night I heard so many truthful, genuine stories. The youth competition is where it's at. <laughs> my words do fly. I, mean, I think if you want to know what's going on in Portland in the youth culture, come to Verslandia. Truthfully, the heavenly ebony in one's skin creates a lack of equity and increases incarceration rates for misdemeanor Ooh. felonies. Whoa. Literary Arts came on to put on the first Verslandia All City Poetry Slam five years ago. This year will be the sixth year. There are poetry slams happening through the school libraries in all ten Portland high schools. They come from all walks of life, from all over the city, all shapes and sizes. They're wonderful people, and they're really exciting to be around. It's why you get up in the morning. It's such a cool experience to be able to express myself and be listened to, because I feel like so many teenagers are silenced because they're teenagers. I don't think that's fair. I think Portland tries its best to not silence teenagers. My friends are into writing now and reading. It's not something we would be usually talking about. Now we're all sitting down like, oh, did you come up with something new? And just added more range to our friendship. There are a lot of untold stories, a lot of exciting potential in those kids. It really helps them to articulate their own story, to learn to perform it, learn to express themselves in a way their story can be received, heard, and understood. Parents and students alike would find themselves on the side of wonder if they took a moment to allow themselves to be opened up to the arts, to be opened up to poetry. The whole city should have to come and see it because it is really amazing. The kids are incredible. Just the virtue of showing up to Verslandi as an adult is a sign and a symbol that you care about these kids and you want to know their story and you, they matter.